But don't worry, they still have fun with it. How much fun, you ask? Sword-using, salami-cutting fun, of course. The perfect slice of meat. Yeah! Man! Badly! <laughs> Using my sword to cut some salami! No more, it's Joinit, and welcome to this thing on my head. There was a cat incident. I don't want to talk about it. Here we are on 123GO, the other Trim Trim 5 Minute Crafts whatever else. The one that often goes overlooked, though they're out here getting tens of millions of views per video. Today we're looking at the age-old question, girls versus boys. Real differences and funny situations. Nothing like some light-hearted pitting of genders against each other. While we all may rise and shine every morning, we don't necessarily greet the new day the same way. And today we're exploring all those funny and oftentimes crazy differences between boys and girls. And how... What? We're exploring the differences between girls and boys and how they greet the day. Because, <laughs> because we all know they don't do it the same way. They don't open one eye at a time like everyone else. So I wake up like this. Wow, Jennifer, you sure look spiffy today. If you're a girl who likes to wear perfume, you know putting it on is a very important part of your morning ritual. Okay. <laughs> if you are a girl who likes perfume, you know it's a very important thing to do. Spray the air and walk into it. I'm such a girl. I am such a girl and I am so into perfume. Even though like, you know, most of the time I just cannot be bothered putting it on because there's so much, like who can even, who can even be bothered, you know? Man, that smells like a beautiful meadow. My goal to smell like a live walking flower is almost complete. Classic girl, classic girl situation. Just wanting to smell like a beautiful meadow. <laughs> Girls. <laughs> Uh, girls! <laughs> Boys? Nah! They want to smell like concepts. What is that joke? They want to smell like brutality. Inner strength. No, inner No. Iron. I don't know. Gunpowder and musk. Deep sea fishing. Yeah, there you go. You guys are better at this than I am. Campfire. Peat bog. How about that one? There we go. I got- I got my input. Boys, on the other hand, tend to get ready a little bit differently. Oh, I almost forgot my cologne. But unlike the ladies, most dudes want to make sure that scent really sticks to them. Oh, dang. Dang, dude. I mean, not to say there aren't guys who get around like that. You ever like, look, I live in an apartment. I can tell you this much. Sometimes you walk into an elevator and you're like, oh, 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 you, you, you're dying. You're just waiting to get down to the ground floor so that you can get out and breathe some fresh air because the previous person in there has sprayed on so much perfume. They can't breathe oxygen for a week. Just off the... Fumes coming off them. As much as this is like a, just a really classic cliche, I feel like it's kind of true, <laughs> right? It kind of is a little bit true that guys do put on a little bit too much cologne. Not all guys. Not all guys. Not all girls. I'm sure girls do it too. That's the thing. Like when it comes down to it, it probably just comes down to the individual anyway. But it is true. A lot of us know lots of boys who do be putting on too much cologne. Um. Kevin, don't you think you've sprayed enough of that stuff? All right, that ought to do it. And the headache will totally be worth it. Freshen up behind the mask with Eclipse. What a terrible ad. Freshen up behind the mask. What are they trying to draw attention to here? They're like, look, uh, we know that you're wearing masks at the moment, but you guys still need breath mints, okay? I feel like this is just drawing attention to the fact that you actually kind of don't need breath mints at the moment. They're saying freshen up behind the mask. It's like, actually, I hadn't thought about it. Truth is, I didn't care what my breath smells like at the moment. I'm wearing a mask. Yes, is there anything better than an impromptu movie night? Man, I'll never get sick of these old school romantic comedies. Hey, what was that? Oh. oh dang, that is some wicked visual effects. You guys seeing this? That 14 million views per video is paying off. They can afford to- you guys have to watch that again. Hey, what was that? Oh. Whoa! That is like- that is like real life. 8K Ultra HD. It has an 8K spider right there. 60 frames per second. Ultimate. High fidelity. This is Troom Troom with ray tracing. Holy cow, that's the biggest spider I've ever seen! Kevin, look! Oh, come on. You really think that little bug will hurt you? Ha, got it. 
Now, I speak from experience. I live in Australia. You cannot, even if you're wearing a shoe, you cannot squash a spider onto a rug. Spiders are squishy. They're gonna, they're gonna hide in the pile. They're gonna, they're gonna, these are the, these are the, these are the ruggy bits. And this is the spider. They're like, they're up here on top of the ruggy bits. They get squashed. Bam. Now they're just in between the ruggy bits. They're always, those things, you can't, you can't, you can't squash a spider onto a rug. I'm telling you, doesn't work. I think, uh-oh. Oh, exactly, cause it will do that. Little spider, whip you with one of those. This is real life. How strong is that thing? Oh no, somebody saved Kevin from that thing. Yeah, got him in a, a lock. I don't know my fighting terminology. Someone can come out here with their like, their judo terminology or something. An arm lock, thought that'd be a cooler name for it. I told you those things were scary. Where'd it go? I don't think I caught it. Oh, the only thing worse than a spider in your room is a spider gone from your room. You're sitting there, you're chilling, you're watching some movie or something, and you see a little huntsman run across your floor and you're like, dang it, turn the light on. You turn the light on, it's gone. And you don't find it the rest of the night. And you have to sleep in that room. <laughs> The West. Yeah, it's on my hand. It's going to kill me. And that's the thing about boys. They don't really get scared, but if threatened, they can't help but see red. Dies. That's the thing about boys. Listen, if you really need to know one thing about boys, they don't really get scared, but if they are threatened, watch your back. <laughs> I'm going to be I'm going I'm going to level with you here. Fam, if that spider was crawling up my arm, I'm scared. I am Honest, honestly scared. Boys don't get scared. <laughs> Kevin, no! Oh no, are you okay, little guy? I'm sorry Kevin was so mean to you. Girls may be scared of spiders, but that doesn't necessarily mean they want to hurt it. Yeah, but you can't be very scared of it to pick it up like that. You didn't seem scared at all. A spider's that large in Australia? What, the one in the video? Absolutely. <laughs> the one in the video wasn't like, wasn't abnormally large. It looks like Jennifer came down with that nasty bug going around. I the spider? She came down with the spider? I wonder if I have a temperature. Meh, I'm not going to let a fever get me down. I have way too much to do today to just lay here in bed. Boys, on the other hand, definitely will let a little bug ruin the day. Oh, okay. All right. This whole video is just like stereotypes. The man, <laughs> man cold. But no, this is, this isn't the man cold. This is the boy cold. Girls always do be shrugging off their sicknesses. Here's the thing with these stereotypes is that there are people like this. Obviously, people are, there's 7 billion people in the world. There's gonna be individuals. There is gonna be blokes who get a little bit of a sniffle and they're like, oh, I can't come into work. And then there's gonna be women who will be on their deathbed thinking that they still need to get on with their day. But at the same time, it is also equally a stereotype for men to have like a broken leg and still rock up to the factory to continue working. Imagine living in a world where people are just people and everybody kind of has their own personalities. <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm dying? Meanwhile, Jennifer is working through her fever and even has time to clean the house. Oh, classic woman. And that is how a woman should be, right? <laughs> even, in a, even in a wicked fever, you better get on that mop. I feel like my channel is like 50%. If you removed 50% of my channel's content, I would just seem like the worst person on earth. My editor would have the ability to turn me into the most hated person on YouTube. On the next episode of Join and Out of Context. Join and Out of Context would be like the worst person going around. And have a great time doing it, I might add. You're going to feel sick regardless, so why not get a few household chores in while your body fights off that bug, right? Right, exactly. Classic women. They will stop at nothing. Nothing will get in the way of them and their household chores. Ugh, gross. Wait, this looks super intense. Good thing I have a microscope handy at all times. Boys! Boys, am I right? Always getting around with their microscopes. Ready to, <laughs> ready to zoom in on a booger. All right, little booger, I'm gonna find out exactly what's going on here. What? I'm never going to be able to unsee that. What? The, you see, the real difference between boys and girls is that boys have boogers that have nasty showers. Hey, Jennifer looks like she's feeling much better. 
It's a good thing she didn't stay home sick. She wouldn't have gotten so much done. It's a good thing she ignored <laughs> the doctor's advice. <laughs> Top tip. Girls are more productive than guys because they don't listen to their bodies. They work themselves into a more sick state. Be like girls. I'm officially dying. Oh man. And he even remembered to leave a will. How smart. Come on, Cap, wake up. We still need you here. Boy's always writing wills. You can never get him to do anything because they're always busy just writing wills. Whoa, it's a good thing you stayed home for sure. Okay, so, so far two out of two have been um, boys equals negative. <laughs> Boys spray too much perfume, not just the right amount like girls do. And also, boys will literally act like they're dying when they're sick, whereas girls, they'll get on with life and they'll get stuff done. When it comes to sitting down and enjoying a meal, it's important you take the time to set the mood. Let's see, where should I start? This fresh bread is going to taste amazing. Is she eating all of that on her own? What is she eating here? She has, what is this? Two, four, six, like she had like seven slices of white bread, some lettuce and some cheese. Hey, that sandwich looks pretty tasty, Jen. It's important to uphold your table manners. All right, I'm just about ready to chow down on this delicious Sammy. This is girls. This is what girl, this is what girls are doing? This is what girls are putting their time to Tucking napkins into their shits. Tucking in with a knife and fork into their lettuce and cheese sandwich. Playing some classical music on vinyl in the background. And then what do boys do? They just come in and eat it? They just eat their sandwich like an absolute savage? Only a barbarian would eat this thing with their hands. Are they trying to say that girls don't eat sandwiches with hands? What universe is this? What a delicate little bite. Well, this surely is a lunch well done, Jen. Yeah, because you wouldn't be a woman if you didn't take delicate bites. Women, <laughs> don't go take a normal sized bites, all right? All your bites have to be the delicatest. And no lunch would be complete without washing it down with that fancy apple juice you bought from the store. And of course, it's at the perfect room temperature. What? Why is such a such specific lunch setup a classic girl scenario? Her fancy apple juice that she bought from the store. Room temperature? Why? Why is that specifically a girl thing that she's into room temperature apple juice? I thought the whole joke here is that she like goes to all of the effort, sets everything up perfectly. You know, in this joke, you would think it would be the guy who would just jump in and be like, I don't care, it's room temperature. Chuck it back. I don't understand the relevance with the room temperature apple juice thing. <laughs> but I, then again, I'm not a girl, so maybe I just don't understand. All right, I believe I've had enough for now. Now it's back to work. Yeah, because you know, women, you can't eat the full serving size, all right? You gotta calm down with these out of context jokes. But when boys have lunch... Here we go. The ravenous, the monster. He's gonna just tear everything apart and eat it. And you know what? Worst of all, he's gonna drink his apple juice cold. The savage. But don't worry, they still have fun with it. How much fun, you ask? Sword using salami cutting fun, of course. The perfect slice of meat. Yeah, man, manly. <laughs> using my sword to cut some salami, some processed meat. Nothing says man like a big hunk of processed meat with the plastic still on it between two slices of white bread. And don't forget the cold apple juice. Oh no, I'm late for class. Looks like I'm taking lunch to go today. Just like that, just whack it in. Just whack that sandwich in your bag. Don't worry about wrapping it up or putting it in a container. Oh man, is it really time to get up already? By the way, we're still uh, three for three on this whole girls are just more sophisticated and generally put together human beings thing. <laughs> girls versus boys. Boys suck. <laughs> End of story. End of video. Thank you. Like and subscribe. And check this out, by the way. These videos, eight minutes, eight minutes and four seconds. If you didn't know, that's because <laughs> these days uh, you can still add in mid rolls. If your video is eight minutes, it's not 10 minutes anymore. So one, two, three, go is like, they're like, oh, well, all we need to do is <laughs> hit eight minutes these days. Boys are such dunderheads. <laughs> yeah, the biggest. Looks like Kevin isn't as much of an early riser. Phew, looks like he's finally waking up. This is a joke. Like this, this one is by far the worst one. Girls wake up to their alarm, but guys don't? What is this? When it comes to the debate of who's waking up for their alarm and who isn't, this has absolutely nothing to do with gender. Or maybe not. Girls have to wake up on time. Otherwise, they- Girls are the best? Yeah. 
Chuck out the rest. Kevin, are you seriously still in bed? Ugh, this outfit makes my shoulders look too bulky. Kevin's gonna have to roll out of bed and head to class in his pee- Don't demonetize me. I, it was just someone scratching their butt, okay? Please, you guys have been a little bit crazy with that band hammer on the demonetization here. It was just a casual butt scratching. Nothing weird. <laughs> See? This is why girls need so much time in the morning. I need a completely different wardrobe. Oh, I like this subliminal like here. Why do I feel like I want to like the video? Okay, Kevin, if you don't get up now, you shouldn't even bother. Wow, finally, he's alive! Whoa, is that me? Don't worry, I know this one. Just absolutely shower yourself in cologne. I'm a girl and this is a lie. Is my breath okay at least? Here's good enough. Mask mint. Put a mint behind the mask. I learned this one. Wow, Kevin sure got dressed pretty fast. Why do girls take so much longer? Because they pay much closer attention to detail. Guys don't care. Guys do not care what they wear. Ever. You find me a guy who cares what he wears, okay? <laughs> and believe it or not, Kevin woke up a whole hour later and got ready in a fraction of the time. And he do be looking fresh, don't he? Just a little bit of boy magic, I guess. Check out these hol Oh, hilarious bloopers? What? We've never seen this before. Sign me up for some bloopers. Hilarious bloopers. Do you have friends that can relate to these scenarios? Be sure to share this video with them. And as always, be sure to subscribe to our 123Go YouTube page for more awesome content. See you next time, friends. Okay, are these bloopers just extra foot that- oh. I just realized- <laughs> If you're wondering why these are the worst bloopers you've ever seen in your life, which is just like the extra footage that they have from recording, it's because what I said earlier, the video needs to be eight minutes long. <laughs> They made the video and they're like, dang it, <laughs> what are we gonna do? And they're like, ah, just chuck in some bloopers at the end of the extra footage. And it's just like some guy being like. There's this one clip of this chick laughing. That's not bloopers. That's, that's not what bloopers is. That is you literally padding to get to eight minutes. I mean, that's kind of smart. I'm going to do that from now. That is big brain. That is big brain. If I ever don't reach the eight minutes, which at this point I'm hitting like 20 minutes every time, but let's just say, if I ever don't reach eight minutes, whatever. I would just put into some clips of me being like, I was just reading the chat. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's embarrassing. Or like me going, bang, easy eight minutes. I just want to hear the real voices. Why, why are people so obsessed with hearing the actor's voices? OMG, when he is putting the perfume it looks like he is sweating. Excuse me, but I know in reality you eat sandwiches with your hands. So did everyone else. P.S. We ain't barbarians. Yeah, just because we women eat sandwiches with our hands does not make us barbarians. It does not make us boys. <laughs> the sword cutting part was laughable. <laughs> I am girl, but I do everything like boy, lol. Even though I'm a girl, I relate more to the boy side, lol. Please say that someone can relate too, or is it just me? Um, <laughs> maybe it's just you and me, to be honest, because really, I don't know anyone, I don't know any other girls who like eat sandwiches with their hands. You and me, it's you and me, babe. So dang quacky, yes, queen. <laughs> Yay! All right, epic boys and girls. Let me know in the comments below. Are you a boy or are you a girl? And do you do boy things or are you a girl? And come join the live chat over on twitch.tv forward slash join in, but on Twitch, where we do this live every weekday. And while you're here, make sure to join the unofficial Discord join in server, where it's practically the real join in Discord server. I just, I just don't wanna, I just don't wanna be in charge of running it, but I am there and I hang out there and you can hang out there. I hear it's a lot of fun. And last but not least, get some of the sweet lemon carton merch in the description below. It is super cute. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching my video. But now that it's done, Please watch another one.